I'm Fred. And I'm not dead. And we're Two, two kids, kids on the Couch. couch. Hey guys, welcome back to Kids on Two Kids on a Couch. We know it's been a little while since we've done a video. So long. But we, we've been really busy, but now we're back here to share with you guys some of the things that we're most excited about for the upcoming Broadway season. Yep, you could call this our season premiere. Ish. Let's get started with our favorite musicals of the season. Not dead, what do you got? Well, though it's a little cliché because it's been getting a whole lot of hype, Finding, Finding Neverland is hitting Broadway theaters this fall and I could not be more excited. First of all, Finding Neverland has been a favorite movie of mine for a really long time Good and it's coming up with a stellar cast. It's got Laura Michelle Kelly, Jeremy Jordan, Roger Bart, and Carol Lee Carmel. Four outstanding actors and I cannot wait to see what they do with this incredible story and the incredible songwriting team they It also just finished a run at the ART Theater in Boston which is the one that gave us Pippin, and I believe uh, the glass, glass Menagerie. The Glass Menagerie. And they love the work that they're doing. And, so. uh, and of course, it did fantastically over in Boston, so... Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be... It's gonna be a smash. So excited. I'm excited, too. So, Fred, what's another fun Broadway musical that's coming out this season? Well, not that. That's an interesting choice of words, because one of my favorite musicals coming out this season is Fun Home. This is the story of a family who actually lives in a funeral home. Fun Home is an abbreviation. And it's about uh, this girl's journey and kind of discovering herself and her conflict with her father. And it's really interesting. I, I'm not, I don't want to jump any boundaries, but I think it's the closest thing we've seen to next to normal in a long time. I think it's this, in the same way it attacks a super serious issue for next to normal is depression, for this it's uh, homosexuality. But it doesn't attack it head on. It shows how it affects the whole family. And, and it's a really fresh, dark comedy. And I think it's exactly what Broadway needs. I'm super excited for it. Yep. There's also a lot of really fun plays coming to Broadway this next season. Oh yes, there are! One of the ones that I'm super excited about is called It's Only a Play. It's a Terrence McNally play that has a super huge star-studded cast, including Nathan Lane, Matthew Broderick, Rupert Gint? Grint. Rupert Grint, and a ton of other really fun up-and-coming people. Um, the, the concept of the show, it kind of noises off in the sense that it's the behind-the-scenes of a show. This one takes place in the production room after an opening night show where all the producers and the marketing advisors are reading the reviews and trying to figure out if their show was a hit or not and realizing that it's only a play. I'm mostly drawn to the cast. I'm excited to see Nathan Lane and Matthew Broderick working again together and it's just going to be outstandingly hilarious. So good. I like the idea of a full comedy. There's a lot of comedy yes. about it this year and a funny play is going to be so good and I can't wait to see it. It's going to be exciting. I'm excited. Another fun play coming out this season is called The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. Now, contrasting with It's Only a Play, this is anything but a comedy. It opened a few years ago over in London and it was nominated It was nominated and won several Olivier Awards. The story follows a young autistic gentleman who's incredibly intelligent and it's about how he copes with, with, different, with different key elements of his surroundings changing, such as his neighbor's dogs being stabbed with a fork. Which, it happens. Clearly. Like you do. The, the story is beautiful and it got raging reviews. It's very technological and it, and it uses lo lots of bright lights and lots of sharp contrasts and colors to really show how this boy's mind's functioning. It's going to be fantastic. So good. Also coming up in this Broadway season is a wide range of movies that we're super excited to see hit the big screen. These are movies that were initially Broadway shows and they've been transferred to the silver screen now. So not dead, what Broadway movie are you super excited to see this season? Well, I'm super excited to see The Last Five Years. This musical was written by Jason Robert Brown. Uh, the movie is going to be starring Jeremy Jordan and Anna Kendrick, who are, I both adore their voices, and I can't wait to see how they're going to sound together. The score is really sweet. I'm really excited to see what they do with it, because the musical holds a weird structure, and I, uh, it's going to be so exciting to watch it. Mm -hmm. So, Fred, what movie are you excited to see come out this season? Well, people who know me know that Into the Woods has a super special place in my heart. It's been one of my favorite musicals for a long time. Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine wrote this musical, and it's kind of a bunch of fairy tales blended together. It's what would happen so much fun. if Cinderella met Jack and the Beanstalk, met Little Red Riding Hood, and they all had a mad magical kerfuffle in the woods. It's really deep, it's got some good messages, but it's so funny, and the music is absolutely beautiful. We're also really excited about this cast. Oh my gosh, this cast is amazing. I mean, the Broadway cast had greats like Bernadette Peters. Joanna Gleason. Thank you. Chip Zine. Robert, Robert Restenberg. Kim Crosby. All, all kinds of people. So good. But the movie's cast is holding up pretty strong. It's got Chris Pine, Billy Magnuson. James Corden, Emily Blunt. Meryl Streep. Johnny Depp. We're so excited. It, fingers crossed that they don't screw it up. <laughs> I really want it to be great. So Not Dead, what's another Broadway movie that's coming out this season? Annie! 
Well, this season, Broadway is also hitting cable television more, more so than usual, which we are super excited about. We really are. Fred, tell us a bit more about that. Well, one of the shows that I'm really excited about this year is Glee. Now, oh. Glee's been around for a long time, but it's finally reaching its final season, and that means that once and for all, Glee is going to die. Look, we get that Glee has some talented guest stars, we get that Ryan Murphy's actually pretty good, and we, some, of the, some of them can sing. We like Darren Chris, we like Adina Manzo, we like Christian Jones. They have their moments, but it has done so much to ruin Broadway songs. They do their rearrangements, and it's just weird. It's and so bad. It's not that good of a show. And they just taint performers, and everyone thinks we all suck. We're kind of glad to see it go away. So happy. And I honestly, I'm looking forward to these performers getting to do something else. Most yes. of them can sing, a lot of them can act. I'm ready for them to leave a show where they pretend to want to do Broadway and actually do Broadway. They all can. Yes, they're all capable. Go forth. We release you. Well, your contracts release You're, you. Yeah, we had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Another show hit hitting the screens this year is called Younger. Now, this show stars, wait for it, two-time Tony Award winning Sutton Foster. Oh. Now, Miss Foster was on a TV show a few years ago called Bunheads, which we kind of actually enjoy. Not a bad show. But now she's coming back again to do a show called Younger, a sitcom with stars like Hilary Duff um, and other people like that. It's going to be really funny. She's old pretending to be young, which she looks like she's 16, so that totally ties in. Really uh, it, it looks really funny, and we're just so excited to see her back. It's going to be pretty fun. Yes. Although, if she also felt like doing Broadway, like, in between... That'd be we, cool. We would I mean, that. I'm not going to tell you no. Yeah. I'm also really excited to see a new TV show called Gallivant. Now, this is not really Broadway related, but it's musical related, and we figure that's close enough. Yes, we do. This show is a satire, it's tongue-in-cheek, and it's going to be hilarious. And they're going to sing, it's going to be great. All the time. People might recognize Timothy Amundsen from Psych. He that's played how you last pronounce his name. I don't know, I'm faking it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he played last year on Psych. Now we got to hear him sing a little bit in Psych the Musical. So we're excited to hear him sing more. Maybe do a tap number. We aren't sure yet. And that beard. Oh, glorious. Gallivant. Watch yeah. it. Gallivant. Well, he, there it is. Our season premiere of Two Kids on a Couch. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video. Maybe share it. And leave comments below. Yes, since our last video when we kind of slapped you all in the face virtually, we love you. We really do. People have been leaving all kinds of comments and suggestions, but we always love feedback. So if you have ideas, if you just want to say, hey, you guys are great, and not dead, you look super cute in a bandana, it's appreciated. And of course, Fred, as always, looks stunning in this toque. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And hopefully, all kinds of kerfuffles will ensue. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot.